Hello, everyone, and welcome to Combo Breaker Skullgirls Top Eight. This year has been just absolutely killer. People have been coming out of pools in positions I don't think anybody expected. There have been top a lot. Eight is just nuts. There have been a lot more upsets this year than ever before. Um, oh. The Kill Sage is not yeah, in this the top Kill Sage eight. isn't in. Liam's in it, but in losers. Yeah. Uh, and I, I'm not going to spoil this next match, but this is something that has also not happened once, and now it's going to be happening twice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In a top eight, in a no top less. Eight. <laughs> who would have expected a matchup like this in top eight? Yeah. Well, I mean, they're up there. Maybe we uh, should talk about these it. These are two of the best players. Let's spoil but it. But I'm, I'm, I'm just going to spoil it, all right? These guys both play solo. Yeah. <laughs> we've got Outlaw Spike and Wing Zero. So the Valentine Specialist versus the Philia Specialist. Yeah. 1v1, the way fighting games started and the way they're also going to be played at this moment right now. All right. All right. We have a handshake, and they are ready to go. Excellent sportsmanship. Oh, of course. There's nothing but love in this community. Yeah, definitely. All right. We got right into yeah. it. This okay. is, there's going to be a lot of jump back. Ooh. Oh, wow. Land cancels the jump hard punch, or stand hard punch. Great stuff. So this is how yeah. Outlaw plays. Yeah, uh, he's not going to win the game lane. doing this, but he's going to annoy you into positions where you leave yourself vulnerable. Like that. Gets the low. Very nice stuff. I'm calling cross-up reset. Yep. Oh, technically correct. OK. All right, Can't just get in the corner back. Oh, that right. is the danger of resetting on the ground against Philia. She's got the up two. Full on DP. Nice block on the cross up, and we're back to neutral. Okay. So All right. I, I think Outlaw is trying to get directly above Valentine, where her jump medium punch uh, is the most effective. Yeah, uh, it, it's very hard to correctly push block it so that you can actually do something about it. Safe on block. Ooh. Oh, because he wasn't certain. He wasn't certain. I wonder if that last jab missed. I didn't really get a good look at it. Yeah. Uh, it you, oh, I could have land canceled that if he hadn't push blocked. I think he thought another bug was coming. But this means, assuming he's... Oh, Ooh. he didn't spend the meter. Ooh. Oh, gets but, it anyway. Yeah, Alan still gets the first bar. Yeah. That is a verse bait setup, but yeah. I mean, given the situation, probably should have just finished the combo. Oh, it. that was tragic. Ooh, nice air throw. Grabs her out of some sort of button. Diversion? Side switch? Yep. Side switch again? You don't even know. Oh, the drop. Oh. All right, we can kill off this. Yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. Outlaw Spike is going to grab a lot of Aaron lamps. Looks like I'm going to establish grab a bit more. Yep. Philia blocking low, and we are 1-1 in terms of rounds. So the game automatically goes to three, uh, two out of three rounds if both players are playing solo. Oh, that was such a good jab. Uh, only two bars. Yeah, only two Valentine bars. doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh, oh my, my goodness, God. pick Mario. Pressing hard kick on the way down. We'll never forget you pick Mario and what you did for us. You mostly beat me. <laughs> he did oh, He did jump hard kick for us, but that wasn't clear. Ooh, oh, nice! Wow. The dash under! It didn't punish, but it did cross yeah, up. Brilliant stuff. It's not impossible. Oh, and oh, cross up again! It. Just spent the meter. Level three? Yep. Yeah, it is not impossible to punish those air scalpels, but... That dash under to get the cross up was genius. It's not impossible, but it is very hard, and I like going for a mix up instead of going for the hard punish, and it yeah, worked out beautifully. That was for super him. smart. Straight back in it. Uh, these two aren't gonna change. Ooh, nice! The anti air. Knows he's going for that jump medium yep. punch. Oh. Ready for the jump uh, with the stand hard punch. Yeah. Alright. We're back to the neutral where Outlaw just wants to throw shurikens. Yep. He's a, he's a big fan of this. It's oh, yeah. Of the game. It's him and Duck are the two biggest fans of shurikens. And again, he's not going to win the game off of shuriken damage, but he's going to put you in positions where he's at an advantage. Yeah, that's all he wants. Oh, oh nice air grab. Uh, he needs one more, yeah. I think. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, he's going to okay. spend yeah. two bars. Yeah, he's going to Gregor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, yeah. I guess Gregor 2 would have worked, but... <laughs> yeah. Gregor might have gotten the side switch, but yeah. one, I'm not sure. Out of meter, no way to convert there. I don't think. No, wait, he still had his air dash. This is the biggest credit to Outlaw, is that he was willing to be patient down that much life. Like, there's so many players that would have gone in and gotten killed by rushing in on Philia when he shouldn't. That's how Outlaw's made his money. He's like one of the most patient players ever. Yeah. You have to be to try to play this dead cross style. It oh. crossed up. Yeah, there's no way that didn't cross up. He was blocking. All right. 
Alright, what do we got here? The oh! double, but air thrown right out of it! That only works if you're able to get just a little above Valentine. Oh, I see. Like, there's a weird little zone where the skeletons don't quite hit right away, and you can throw her out of it, but it's hard. Is he gonna... Oh, he's only yeah, gonna need yeah, to defend just one. Oh, he's gonna keep the corner, too. Oh, nice. He saved his OTG, so... Ending in scalpels does very, very little damage. But yeah, but it was, that time it was actually enough. Yeah, he didn't need much damage, but... That's it. I, I love the way um, Wing is using jump light punch immediately into hairball for his air to airs. Yeah. Because that is her, that is her best air to air button. Yeah. Yeah, certified. Yep. It's her best air to air button, and that's the best way to convert off of it. Yeah. You can't option select that because it's a special cancel. So you have to commit. Yeah. Like, he uh, believes he's going to win the air to air. Right. Yeah. This is just such scary neutral because both characters are so good once they get the hit. Yeah. Oh, wow, that I'm surprised that air throw missed. Ooh, Ooh DP. Alright. Nice use of the push block. Alright, okay. safe side. Good stuff. Keeping it going. Oh, low again. Go low. Out of Undizzy, so he has to reset. Yep. And the air throw. Nicely done. Gets one more string in the defender and this should do it. Yep. Last hit Fender does a lot of damage, so that's yeah. definitely gonna do Yeah, that clap. That's up. He's got almost a full life bar. This is gonna be real hard for Outlaw. More shurikens. It looks like Philly is trying to... Yeah. They're, they're in a constant struggle to get above the other player. Yeah, both of them have great air buttons that hit straight down. Nice. Now it's Outlaw's turn. Oh, yep. Lets him land and goes for the front. Oh, oh man. that was super smart. Yeah. yeah that I was greedy of him, but Outlaw is known to do that because yeah. um, uh, the low scales better than the throw, so if he throws you, sometimes he'll just go for a medium low reset. Yeah. Wing Zero oh. probably knew that and was ready. Wing was expecting another set of Zero again. Nice scalp. conversion off the dead cross. So at the right angles, you actually can convert off that um, uh, projectile. Yeah, it's, it's very hard. You need to be basically above them. All right, there we go. That's Outlaw's classic. <laughs> scalpels into scalpels. Get the conversion. There's always going to be a second scalpel. Yep. You saw one. Almost one. Oh, nice. That was a very good dash to get the corner again. Well, trying to up back away from the pressure and gets tossed. We're going back to the mid screen. Might go for a cross up here. No. First that bait lets him land low. Now the cross up. That good was a block. Fake first bait. Great jumping medium punch. Outlaw's turn. He needs this round in order to stay in this uh, winner's side. Oh, good rate. jab. Good jab. Oh, he's got the poison. Ooh, got the poison on him, so he's taking damage over time. Oh! Great reaction. Incredible stuff. Yeah. And that is it. That is Wing enough Zero damage. Takes a 3-0. Convincing 3-0. And they hug it out. I love it. But Outlaw is winners, so he's still got a chance. He's still in it. So we'll see him again before we're done here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we have some support for the solo players. Yeah. Poseidon Rex in the background there. Uh, Very excited. It's his favorite ratio. <laughs> yeah. So it uh, looks like coming up next, we are going to get Cloud King versus uh, Easy Pie. Or I'm just going to say Lazy Diablos. You yeah, can't make I me say that name. He, he's lazy to me. <laughs> yeah. If you use one name for long enough, it's just who you are forever. So. Yep. Uh, I'm assuming Cloud will go the same team he always does. Yeah. Val, uh, Philia, I almost said Fuqua, double. <laughs> yep. Uh, and yep, team Lazy Ducker. will go with the cats. Yep. Yeah, so Lazy plays my team, uh, Fortune Eliza. He's uh, very good with it. And he's, uh, Lazy's been good for a long time, but some, yeah, somehow it just always doesn't work out for him in the brackets. But he's been on a tear lately, uh, just got top eight at um, Pacific, uh, er, excuse me, Northwest, Northwest Majors yeah. a month ago. And uh, getting top eight here. Yeah, and you talk to any of his locals, they're like, yeah, I don't know why he doesn't win, because he just <laughs> crushes everybody. Yeah. You play him online, he crushes face. But he shows up to a major and he has trouble. Yeah. But the, year, results, yeah, the results are finally starting to catch up. Uh, so this is a loser side match. Uh, loser, this is going home. These guys are both the northeastern part of the United States, play each other in locals all the time. Oh, yeah. So they should be ready for each other's uh, shenanigans. I know for a fact that Cloud is, no matter what, fairly happy about today. He finally needs to kill Sage in tournament. 
I, I like that cross up and it able to convert off it using the Tiger Knee bypass. We are back to you. Yep. So that allows the assist every time it comes out, it costs Lazy a little bit of meter. The Fortune builds enough meter that usually he can get away with it. And it just causes so much lockdown that it's usually worth it. Yeah. Ooh, Cloud almost had a happy birthday. He just didn't believe. Not a lot of life here for Mrs. Fortune, so I think that's gonna do it for Nope! Oh! <laughs> God King dropping a combo. I can't believe this, and it's Lazy's turn. Yep. I assume he's going to tag in. Yep. yep. He already uses OTGs though, so he can't convert off of that the way he normally does. But I think he's just happy getting Fortune some health back. Oh, definitely. This oh is a really awkward matchup for Val for Eliza. Though. Yeah, she's so big she can't really dodge, and he, and Valentine moves so quickly. It's tough for her to get away. This is something you only see Cloud King do. Yeah. He uses the leg vial. So this vial actually adds input delay. To all of your um, all of your inputs, about five frames when it's like fully loaded. I think it's six Is fully it six loaded. Frames? Yeah, it's it's like two, four, six, or seven. But oh my either goodness. way, oh no! He's got both. This the super does both. a lot of damage on the last hit. Yeah, they're not quite both dead, but the DHC, and he Valentine the and Philia are both dead. It is all up to double. Double has five though. She can. She can do this. She can't. <laughs> she has the damage. Okay. Oh, he's got the hit. And he doesn't have to do it. No! Oh, no! Huggy. He tried to dash forward, but got DP light kick. Oh, that's tragic. I, he gets one more chance. Oh, he decides to bet it all. And that is all enough. Right. Ends right. the level five early, early match. so he's not stuck there. Smart stuff. Oh. Oh. Brief appearance from the skeleton. Oh. Love that. Bet Hornet Bummer was tragic. Love that. In that scramble situation, Lazy comes in swinging. Yeah. And that was the right call. Takes uh, game one. Come in swinging with Segment with infinite super armor. Might as well. May as well, yeah. Okay. So Lazy tried uh, his standard round opening of BP plus assist. So uh, that can cross you up if you don't move at the start of the round. Fortunately, Cloud was able to tag Eliza. Ooh, just run up jab. I, I like it. He was, at, he was at a slight amount of frame advantage, and it stuffed whatever Lazy pushed. Uh-oh. Oh. It's so funny every time he puts out the leg file, because he gets so much riskier because he knows that you're going to screw up your DP inputs. Yeah. It, it makes it harder to do anything. It makes it harder to reversal. It makes it harder to block. It's just like free to go nuts, basically. Yeah. Cloud is definitely in his element when his opponent has input delay. That is so, true. So to speak. Ooh, He's nice throw. the Wi-Fi warrior. <laughs> yep. uh, okay. Um, with this much bar... I th okay, Ooh, now he can yeah. definitely kill. Yeah. Now he can probably kill for one bar. It is off of a throw, so it's scaled, but Yeah, Eliza's but two versus three. Yeah. And Eliza. Yeah, he just needs the one. This, this super does so much damage. And also, the, the combo did more damage than I was expecting. Even yeah. a normal super would have done it. What kind the only of unfortunate part was having to use that super because it built a lot of meter for your opponent. So, Lazy didn't go for any kind of incoming setup, scared of the DHC, and he's going to snap in double to not even have to worry about it. Uh oh. Silly slide. Just raw. Oops. Oh, missed the throw. That was. Oh, it was almost a good anti air, but Philia took the hit. Philia saved double from Goku. He's got oh. He has both. Does he have that correct happy birthday combo? This is really hard on two different ways. No, oh. he missed it. That's okay. smart. Just keep himself safe. He's still in a good, si he's still in a yeah. good position. And he still has two meters, so he gets a kill if he gets a hit. Oh, oh no, no, again. Doesn't even need to go fancy. Just regular combo, yeah, level three. Into level three. I'm surprised Lace is letting us watch this. Nah, he's playing for the crowd. He yeah. knows. Everybody loves that super. <laughs> uh, at least now that it doesn't take 15 minutes. Oh my goodness. Can you believe that super used to be longer? Time. I, every yeah. time I see it, I can't believe it. I did notice, though, Cloud is not using the correct voice pack for double. <laughs> I, 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 okay. <laughs> it's not matter of opinion. I'm getting back to the match here. Okay, convert. Right. Yes, yep. nice. Able to dash up with your TV. There in the corner. So All now that now that Cloud is the corner, you know he's looking to load an orange vial and use it. Yeah, he just wants to get a clean hit yeah. with double. Yeah, he has to get a hit. Ooh, nice air to air. Lazy's turn. I don't know that that was all real, was it? No, it wasn't, but Cloud is known to absolutely never burst, so it's very hard to burst big yet. Ooh, okay. good throw bait. Yeah, with all of this meter he can kill, but he might go for another reset to not have to use too much of it. Oh, looks like 
looks like he's gonna yeah, finish he's going it. for it. Uh, oh wait, uh, is this actually gonna kill in one? He might. It yeah, might, it's, it's, it's gonna, gonna kill in one. He might DHC oh, the yeah. anyways to save the corner. No, nope. he, he did that earlier in top 24. So. Ooh, too bad. A little too far away from the medium punch to hit. So it's all on um, all the hopes oh. and dreams are on Eliza. Counter hit, unable to. Counter -hit. Yeah. I don't think he expected it. Oh, he's got both. Oh. That was that was a super weird angle. Those characters yeah. were so far apart. I don't think there's any way he could have kept that happy birthday going. Yeah, it would have been really hard. We are back to neutral at least. So Lizzie does do more damage because he's got fewer characters on his team. So raise your work and he's got both characters again. This time he maybe he has a better shot. Yeah, he's just going to spend the three and make it easy. Yeah. And just like that, it goes from a 3v1 to a 1v1. Except one of these characters does a lot more damage. Yeah. Lazy that said, Eliza is going to do more damage. Cloud up. Ooh, you oh, can't I kill off this, but one reset will be dead. Love the side switch. I don't like uh -oh. that side switch quite as much. I'm pretty sure Cloud can kill if he level threes. I'm not sure. Because, again, the ratio difference. Okay. Go, tries to go for a reset. Yeah. Uh, Lazy is building pretty close to another level three. He has it yeah. now. All right. Oh, that'll oh, do it. That'll do it. I don't know what yeah, that crouching yeah. medium punch was supposed to be, but we're going to game four. Lazy just needs one more. I think he was intending to do the crouch hard punch <laughs> anti air and just flub the button. I, I'm not sure Lazy knew either. He was yeah. asking. Because that's like, why did you push that? It's a legit anti air. I'm just assuming he pressed the wrong button. Okay, it happens. fair enough. Yeah. Oh wow, good conversion on the medium kick. Nice, so the DP didn't hit the button on the way down there. Uh, Eliza says stays up for so long after the yeah. call it. It's a big commitment every time. Whoa. Wow, what just happened? Jumping medium kick? I, I think Lazy was expecting a cross up throw. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. Uh oh, hard knockdown tag to uh, Philia. I'm surprised he did that. Nice, tag. 50 P. All right. Okay, used his OTG already, so he can't get the conversion he's used to off that raw tag combo. Lizzie's yeah. very good about tagging in Eliza in mid combo when he needs to switch characters. Yeah, it's good because he needs the meter. Nice. Ooh. So that was a really weird angle for that combo, so I like that he went for the early reset. Yeah. Yeah, it's really easy to drop, especially on Billy. For whatever reason, Eliza gets weird combos on Billy and Ukwa. Like, they just sometimes fall out. Yeah, those characters kind of have weird hurt boxes. They used to be weirder. Yes. I, I love that. Lazy does that all the time. When he goes for air grab, he'll do it early enough that he can press a button on the way down. This time it got him this combo. So all the hopes and dreams, all New Jersey, them. are up to this double. Does not quite have meter for the amazing level five. Getting closer with every head. Oh no, Goku saves the day. <laughs> Bird insurance. Okay. Uh, all this meter, I imagine yeah. he's going to go into an early super here. Just keep this easy on himself. No. Yeah, just okay. level 3 into level 3. Okay, yeah. there it is. Oh, he that doesn't even need the two. That is absolutely going to do it. Lazy, Lazy goes on. Playing extremely well. And here we'll move on in this loser's bracket. Nicely done. Cloud with the ride grand. So great oh, showing man. from Cloud, but... Yeah. On Cloud took down Sage. Yeah, yeah that's for true. For the longest time, yeah, that's he the reason could we don't beat him. That's that's uh that's who beat Sage in um to get into top eight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then. So, I mean, All great right. run. Yeah. Next up, we have Liam versus Fuzzy Snugs. Yeah. And I'll be honest, I have a horse in this race. Fuzzy Snugs is basically local for me. Uh huh. So, I want him to do well. But at I at know the same talk time, a lot of trash. at the same time, wouldn't it be vindicating to see somebody finally beat him after uh, having him take all your money for so long and use it all to buy idle figurines? It's so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> it helps that Liam is such a wonderful person that I'm okay with him beating Fuzzy. Yeah. Liam is a, is one of the most likable people ever. I, I love all of the work he does um, in the beginner forum and helping new players learn how to play the game. Oh, yeah. Helping players of all, all skill levels, anyone who's able yeah. to give them some good advice. Uh, he will spend just an inordinate amount of time in Discord going, yeah, this is what the kind of stuff you need to do. Oh, man. You. We got some, we got some we faces in the crowd. <laughs> people are excited. Oh, jeez. We've got all the faces in the crowd. Oh, the, the Brazil crowd. flag. That's a, that's a nationality that's not in this top eight, huh? <laughs> That is true. Yeah. Let's dance, darling. Unfortunately, um, there were a lot of international players who were sent out here, but none of yeah. them were able to make it to the top eight. Yeah. The closest were Pen Pen and Yaya tied for ninth. Yeah. Uh, we do technically have an international player, though. 
Liam oh yeah, Liam is from Canada. You're right. He was he wasn't part of that um, fundraiser. Yeah, he he came on his own. Yep, on his own dime, all the way here. Straight all right, foreign country. So this is going to be a lot of safe assist calls because both their teams are built to be able to create block strengths where you just have to kind of eat the assist call and then get a mix up after. These are both, uh, I would say, players who try not to take too many risks and only go in when it really benefits them. Really good confirm off of that tier explosion. Yeah, he didn't have enough meter to get the DHC. That's part of the reason Fuzzy has the team that he does. He gets a safe DHC with Squiggly and Double. And gets frustrated as hell because you get a mix up off it too. Nice block there. Knew that that assist was going to cause oh. a cross up situation. Hard read on the DP. And he gets the corner. This is the reason that Liam plays Robo second, so that he can get Robo in on his own terms. Yeah, because Robo is absolutely terrible if she has to fight face to face. Yeah, she just, you don't want to block when this character's on point. You oh. help it. Okay, that DHC, I love that DHC because it's greater than the sum of its parts. Yeah. Oh, it just gets a command throw. Oh. oh, we need to switch the names. Yeah, the names are backwards. I didn't notice. Thank you, PME. Alright. You know the really funny thing about this? Fuzzy was thinking about dropping the lies. That's That is funny, and look at this right now. Doing yeah. work in top 8. Robo is down. Gonna get the incoming here. Oh, goes for same side. A little early. Right. Fortunately, Goku saves the day again. This is a really hard matchup for Eliza because one of the things that makes Eliza good is that standing medium punch anti air, but you can't really contest double, double jumping normals with that. It, uh, like, double just wins clean. I'm pretty sure this is Eliza's worst matchup. Because the other, like, great thing that Eliza has is she has great range on her air moves, but they all get shot. Yeah. No, that's the other thing, is double can anti air Eliza extremely consistently. Cool. Right. What a conversion! Fuzzy can get out of here. He's got a lot of meter. He's going to use three of them there on the oh. big orb. Oh, uh, that... it hit the assist, so it didn't yeah. go into the follow-up. That was going to that was yeah. going to put Parasol in the corner. Yeah, if it would have hit Parasol first, it would have flipped both into the corner. Good bait on the pillar, but yeah. this is Liam. He always calls his assist while he kills. If it was just pillar, that would have been a clean punish, but double was there yeah. for the backup. It's a lot harder to bait DP plus assist than just DP by itself. Yeah, the flash kick, I suppose. And it's it's Liam's trademark. He is super safe when he does stuff. It's very hard to like bait a reversal and actually have it work. Perfect. Nice. Wow. So messed up the confirm there. Went yeah. for the reset. Got it. Parasol doing work right now. I'm talking about Liam going in on his own terms. These are his yeah. terms. So he's Great in push there. Block, though. Punish? That's yes. A, yeah, that's no longer safe. For the longest time, that was safe, and then Mike C was convinced that it was silly. You can, as long as you're fast enough, you can always push a button there to punish. Yep. Ooh, wow. We're gonna tag this character in, and he's fine with that with that burst. Yeah, he gets now full screen he's, now. Yeah, he's got the full screen situation. Neutral is where Robo Fortune excels. Yeah. All the zoning, and it's backed with, up by Parasol. Yeah, Parasol. Having the H shot along with all the laser beams, it's so hard to get it. There's things all over the screen, there's beams and fireballs and more fireballs. Sometimes there's a missile. Those are less common. Oh, they do have wow, missile punish on the, on the whip DP. Okay, good punish on the mine. Like, I'm thinking that Fuzzy switched to Eliza, not even for matchup, but because he's more confident in his uh, squiggly than uh, his Eliza. Tried to punish that magnet, but yeah. the DHC. Uh, that, that is the thing about, well, Sniper is a super good DHC move. It's super bad in every other situation. Pretty much. Yeah, if you use that raw, you're expecting the DHC into it. All right, he's, okay. he's putting in the squiggly mix. Wow, in the block. He can punish. Oh, he tried. He, he went for H dive kick, but the heads were already active. Okay, level three again. We saw yeah. this last game. Uh, it's fully invincible. Yeah, that's the side switch he was going for last time. Another great block from Leo. Yeah. Wow, that was impressive patience. Uh, that's one of the... Oh, oh the fuzzy! Has both characters. The appropriately enough fuzzy <laughs> mix-up. The fuzzy mix-up from Fuzzy Snugs. Oh, and the DP. You know, funny Not story. I asked Fuzzy if that's how he got his name, and he said no. Yeah, no, it's just... It's unrelated to that. Yeah. Right? That's a wrap. All right.
Fuzzy is either One more time. posting pictures in Twitch chat or looking up strats. I'm not sure which. He has done both. He has been known in tournament to post um, to post idle emotes in stream chat. He's, he's done that been... against me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I mean, he's getting lit on fire and kicked and punched a bunch right now. That makes a better cross up, though. Back to danger. Really? Jump hard punch. Yeah. Uh, issue with that punch, you can't really convert. Oh, is he gonna go? Oh, no. no. Oh. Unable to stop the bikes from coming out. Wow, gun. Really? Oh, what a confirm! Down. And he can kill. I didn't think he was gonna get a combo off that hit. That was crazy. There's just so little hit stun on a unintentionally exploded tier. Oh, not right. gonna not yeah. gonna bring in Eliza. Yeah, he saw that Liam was blocking and just wanted to be safe. Yeah. Yeah, so you can uh -oh. just look during the super flash, see what they're doing. Yep. No. no, yeah, if they're airborne, you can't get a pick up. Oh, I see. So is it going to be all up to Eliza? Wow. Yeah, it's all on Eliza. Liam has been running away with this. Oh, man. That's Parasol's super ambiguous tier thing. Able to bait out the DP. Yep. Down back, call your assist. That's the safest way to do it. Yeah. Should be safe yeah. than just one beam? Not Probably could have even shipped out with just Catastrophe Cannon there, but... Probably, but... Play it safe, don't let him risk... Don't risk getting yeah. push block R cancelled. That's true, and you also don't want to mis misjudge the chip in that situation. Yep. So I think we're going back to winner's side after this? I believe that's correct. Uh, yes, we have both Foxes coming up. <laughs> Sonic Fox from Team Echo Fox versus Swift Fox Dash. And these are both staples of top eight, of course. Top four, top three. These guys always meet uh, yeah, pretty they late all, in the they tournament. They meet in every tournament they're both in. Yep. Always in top eight. Almost always in winner's side. Yep. And they're, they are great friends. Oh, yeah. A very, very strong platonic relationship. And both great players in their own right. Been playing this game for a very long time. Yep. Doing incredible work. So TJ has always played um, Peacock Cerebella yep, since release. Yep. Um, and Sonic, Sonic has switched teams many, yep. many times over the course of the game. I but I think he's he stuck with the Double Kukua. Yes. Yes. Has been using that team for a while now. I think he's settled on it now that yes. the game is finished, getting patches. Uh, and he's found he just really, really enjoys playing Philia. So. <laughs> Forbidden stage has been picked. You cannot oh, get this no. in random select. You have to go out of your way to pick it. Thank you. Enjoy this wonderful music. Nice anti-air. That was awesome. That's something TJ's been doing since Vanilla, I remember. Oh, yeah. Using uh, that bunch of anti-air Philia specifically. And it's even better now. He's got a better yeah. hitbox. Oh, my goodness. Sonic Fox. Just the mix-ups mix don't stop. Yeah. He's mixing right now. It is actually the one different call of Sonic Fox. Is that he will have to Ooh, sacrifice a character Pulls him out of the corner. I believe that is Winnie Tech, if I'm not mistaken. Rare Winnie, not even in top eight, he is in top eight. His spirit is here. Sonic has so much meter. I think he yeah, can actually he can kill. kill off this. Yeah, level one, through. level one, level three. I think that's the curve. He doesn't even need... I think he gets oh yeah, he's here. just gonna yeah. go right into this one. Uh, this just does so much damage on the DHC. Yeah. People, people love the hill during that one. Still did the extra DHC, favorite. just to make sure. Yep. One more time. No thought, going straight back in. Also in the spooky stage still. Yep. We're gonna stay spooky because we, we picked the stage, so it doesn't re-random each time. This is Sonic Fox's favorite stage, so. Ah. Whenever he's player one, he picks the stage. Gotcha. Yeah, I can believe that. Sonic, every time, just has the correct read. Like, none of these resets are getting blocked, and TJ does not have bad defense. No. I'm actually kind of shocked that TJ hasn't attempted to smash uh, Sarah Bellata again. Well, the thing is, uh, I know these guys play a lot, and I know that a lot of Sonic setups, even though it kind of looks like he's just doing stuff, um, they will option select and beat Bella Raw Tag. So, you can't even tag for them. Oh, nice. Best Wear Super wins again. <laughs> Oh, he was out of armor. The hairball eating it all up. Sonic moves, keeping track of the hits. Hey, usually TJ 
Jay will cancel into Merry Gorilla when he sees Armor get hit. Or not Merry Gorilla. Level 3. No, or level 1. Grab. Yep. Whatever the heck it's called. <laughs> whatever, whatever that move yeah. is. Kamehameha grabbed Super, but it, he saw that Philly was still in air and didn't do it, which let Sonic Fox get the hit. Gosh, this, this has been so brutal for TJ so far. He hasn't really gotten to do anything. Every time he starts trying to zone, so he just needs to reverse through all the bullets and use it immediately. Uh, this is one of Peacock's first matchups. That is correct. You can see right here. Yeah. Philly just has a million mix up tools and a million tools. And worst of all, Peacock's reversal just hits straight in front of her, and that's never where Philly is. Yeah. If G air dashes and does anything, that's going to win. Yeah. Wow. So once again, Peacock gets to do nothing. Bella coming in. Very, At least pretty this close time to meter. Yeah. yeah she, she has some meter this time. So a level three hitting and assist to get TJ back in this. That'll be the fastest that oh. possible way to do it. That shadow low. I, I I have a feeling Sonic just brought up Fukuo just, just to show us his Fukuo. Because uh, we haven't seen this character. Oh! Oh, oh my God! Why did you stand up? You peak fool. That is a low, and it will catch um uh, pre block if, yeah. you're, if you're up back. Here. Oh! Yeah. That's the that's the danger of trying to grab Fukuo. Yeah, she's kind of up forward a whole lot. Yeah, if she up forwards in hard case, your throw is getting counter hit for bajillion damage. And this is fun. Gets one more chain after this into one yep. more super. With a mini teabag. Yep. Just, just buffering the super, I think. Is what oh, they do. oh, okay. Of okay. course. Yeah, just making sure he doesn't drop it, because that would have been tragic to just drop it right at the end there. Yeah. Would have been a real bummer. But right. they gave, gave a hug, and we're up. Who do we have up next? It looks like Outlaw Spike and Lazy Diablos are up next. So this will be another loser's side match. So this is to get into loser's semifinals. So Lazy and Outlaw. I know that these guys have been at at least one local before, but I don't think they ended up playing each other. Um, it is New York versus uh, Virginia, Maryland, and that, that third state that's part of that. Yeah. DMV, I think, is, is what that is. And I can't, I can't remember the D. I guess it's not that important. Yeah. But I'm trying to think how this set is, is going to end up because... It's, it's going to be a lot of just moving around in air, which is going to be kind of awkward because Fortune like really wants to be in air, but her air-to-airs aren't great. No, they're like, not. I think jump light kick buffered into jump hard punch is probably her best bet. Yeah. But I think this is a matchup where Outlaw is going to get to play his game oh, yeah. of jumping around and throwing the dead crosses. And especially since Lazy uses Butcher's Blade for his assist. That's only horizontal coverage. So it it's, doesn't it's stop not gonna him from being in air. It's not going to cover the space that Outlaw wants to be anyways. Yeah. So it's going to be pretty much on straight neutral play mm -hmm. on how well Lazy can get in with uh, whichever character he has on point. I actually wouldn't hate him putting Eliza on point for yeah, this Yeah, I was actually just thinking that. I think Eliza would do a lot better because yeah. Horus comes all the way from yeah. the top, from the moon, and will tag you from anywhere. Stamp punches going to beat almost anything that, well, any normal that mm -hmm. Valentine tries to throw out. Yeah, that but, might not be a terrible idea. And it gives him a DP assist because he runs DP with Fortune. So, like, I think I would prefer him to start Eliza in this matchup, really? but I know he's more comfortable Swords with Fortune. Swords light is upside down. Okay, that's better. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted by all this stuff in the background. Skull Girls Community yeah. is great. Came out in, in force. I don't know that Very we're going to have Swords game on stage. in this game, though. Hmm? I don't think we're going to get Swords of Revealing like this game, though. Oh, no? You don't no, think so? I, I don't think there's going to be that level of set play involved. Oh, okay. Yeah, you might be right. I mean, a lot of the reason you have the dumb set play in Skullgirls is because it's backed up with your assists. Uh, Outlaw doesn't use his assists like... Well, he doesn't have assists. Yeah, he and Lazy doesn't use his assists like that. Yeah. So... Uh. Um, Looks like we need to restart the console, so... Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. yeah it happens sometimes. Eh. So... Coming up later in the bracket, after we're done with this one, um, is going to be Liam, Liam Swift versus Fox. Uh, Sonic Fox, or Swift Fox. Swift Fox, one yeah. of the Foxes. TJ. Um, those guys played in Loser's Semis last year. Liam won that pretty decisively, but it's been a full year yeah. since then. It's, Had some time to it's think a really about weird it. matchup. Well, actually, come to think of it, they also played a month ago, and oh, Liam yeah. also won that one. Uh, Liam is one of the best. <laughs> he is, and that's... <laughs> He plays characters that kind of struggle against um, Peacock, but yeah. finds a way to get in. I'm, the thing is, 
Parasol can beat Peacock the second she's in, mm. but she has a really hard time getting in. Yeah, um, the Parasol's best chance to beat Peacock is at round start, honestly. Oh yeah. Unless you have, like, a big band with brass assist. Yeah, which TJ does not have. Yeah. So TJ um, kind of has to respect you at the start of the round until he's established that full screen. Yeah. Um, and then, actually, I think if... Liam is able to get his row of fortune in on his own terms. Mm -hmm. He actually wins the zoning war because he has light shot to back up the beams. And the beams being instant travel across the screen, you just blow through most of what Peacock wants to do. That's true. Um, yeah, that zoning it, battle is very annoying oh, for it, Peacock because yeah. you, just, you try to throw anything and you get light beamed out of it. Once but you are at some sort of frame advantage, like if your projectiles trade favorably. So if you can yeah. get, establish a trade you can get started. Yeah. All so right. While we're so while we're waiting, we do have to mention the Skullgirls mobile game literally just came out this weekend. And I can tell you from experience, it's a lot of fun. Oh, really? Like, I haven't yeah. actually picked it up yet. It's good? Like, it, it plays more like an RPG than a traditional fighting game because okay. you get your characters, you level up, you learn new abilities. And it's just kind of dope. Like, I'll tell you, Full Bleed spent almost the entire trip up here just playing the game and oh. talking about how sweet it was. So we also got the Brawlhalla World Championship. So this is a big prize pool for this tournament. This is $100,000. So if you're interested in Brawlhalla, make sure to get more information. Go to brawlhalla.com esports to learn more about this event. Friendly reminder, ADARC is offering a discount code if you're watching Combo Breaker, enter the code CB2017. Get 10% off on anything you want from Quamba. Or, or ADARC. Yeah. Well, there's still Quamba, and it's great. Yeah. Shout outs to XSplits, uh, also helping out with this tournament. Check out them. Get a 10% discount with the code CBREAKER. Uh, yeah. All right. We've got the console back up, and the players are getting their characters selected. Let's dance, darling. All right, we're ready. Yep. The, the characters are picked. I saw those are the real characters. We yep. do not have button checks in this game. It looks like Lazy is going to point. We are under the bridge. Are there any big fans in this top eight? Or? No, he's not. Oh my goodness, that like never happens. I know. Okay, Lazy's in early. Nice, fakes the, uh, fakes the overhead by whipping an air grab and goes low. Okay. Oh, Ooh, yeah. gets grabbed out of his own mix-up, and now is Outlaw's turn with the side switch. Outlaw spike specialty. Yes, great at throws. And oh. another side switch. That cross was so hard to block. Okay, out of undizzy has to. Okay. Ooh, He's gonna alpha counter and get his healthy character in. I don't know if there's something Out Outlaw could have done to punish that. I'm not sure. Oh, so, uh, names are backwards. Again. Yeah, he might have been able to bypass the scalpels, but since. Eliza was in segment form and really wouldn't do anything. I, I like that bypass because he did it when he knew um, Dive of Horus was on cooldown, so he didn't have to yeah. worry about running into Horus. Ooh, already used that button, so I can't do that. I'm impressed he jumped out of the full speed command grab. Did he really convert off it from that oh, high? Wow. That was incredible. Okay, oh, he doesn't have okay. his OTG, so yeah. no way to convert there. Okay, more. Oh, nope, he's out of meter, so uh, no double scout rules. Lazy tried to air throw, but he pressed the throw too early. Got ground throw. And I like that Outlaw is not scared to jump at Eliza. He does have some good anti airs, but Valentine can change her jump angle in a number of ways, so it's not an insurmountable problem. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to use Scalpels there to maintain the corner, but he gets the kill. And this is. This yeah. is still doable, but it's hard. Ooh, the jumping medium oh. kick, really. We talked about those air to airs earlier. Yeah. There's one right there. Uh oh. Go He's on. got level three. Keep it simple. Yes, he does. Have to stand hard punch. Reco's level three. The fifth of this member. A little bit of extracurriculars after, and Lazy Diablos takes the first game. Outlaw scratched his head and went, oh. Yeah, I should probably <laughs> block that in the future. Uh, that might help. Alright. Ooh, yep. another good use of that jump uh, medium kick. So it looks like that button might be the secret here to winning in the air. But that's a pretty good hitbox. People don't know about it. Yeah. It's, it's just got an awkward hitbox for a lot of other characters, but... Oh, good fastball with the throw. The corner control right now is very good. Using that assist to his advantage. Man, that was blocking was so good, and then he finally got opened up there. Okay. Now he's got a chance to play. He's gonna continue Just keep throwing, throwing it. 
Oh, if he could have gotten that happy birthday, that would have been the end. And another great air-to-air -air from Lazy. I'm really impressed with how well he's been air to air Normally that's really, really hard to force it. Yeah, that's that's going to be 2-0 for Lazy. If Outlaw's going to stay in this, he has to figure out what to do about that button, what angles he's approaching at that are causing him to run into it. Just taking a sec to think about it. All right. I think that was the optimal amount of time to think about it. Yeah, not, not long, long enough not to psych yourself out, but long enough to go, okay, I know what button to use. All right. Let's see what you do. Oh, oh air so throw. Good. Okay, yep. That's a good adjustment. I like it. Yeah, just back up to avoid the butcher's blade and then air throw after the DP. Because you know Ooh, like, oh. That was gross. That, that was disgusting. I am throwing up right now. That only works if you're crouch blocking. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. If you don't crouch block, it'll hit same side. Oh, and oh. him back into the corner, so he gets, uh, I believe, two more swings. Yep. Yeah. I don't think he's going to need to spend yeah. his one bar. He didn't even need to use a special. Wow. So that one adjustment, using the air grab, got him all of Fortune's health. It is a 1v1 situation. An air grab right back. It is late turn. Oh, it just goes low. I like the end of Yep. Got a skeleton meter available for Lazy. Oh, gets the counter hit too. And also with three bars, Eliza has access to her one real reversal. That's true. So you have to be careful resetting her. Like I imagine he's gonna go for either hard knockdowns or... Uh, I think he's just gonna go oh, this. Kill. Got, this is that solo damage. This is the power of not having other characters on your team. You do a hundred bajillion damage and kill them in one combo. My goodness. Outlaw's on the board. That one minor difference of shuffle back air throw was all he needed to do. That pretty much took him the entire game. Ladies and gentlemen, it's made, he made a good decision at, at 99 seconds in. Again, oh, grabbed him right out of that jump medium kick. It looks like we found the answer. Going low, Go taking low. him to the corner. Never mind, going out of the corner. Oh, I was right the first time, going corner. All right, double jump to get out of the mix up. Okay. Still going for that jump medium. Now Lazy is going for the air throws too. <laughs> it looks like air throw is going to be the the name of this set. It's whoever gets the most. Good the bait. Way. That is not safe home block. No. And Eliza is coming in. We're seeing some really smart stuff oh, from Outlaw. That looks was dead so to dirty. Right, and here he is on a tear. That was. I'm not even sure what. Oh my goodness! The so one hit jump medium kick. Is that Eliza only? I've never seen. That. Uh, I think it works on any of the big bodies. Any of the, okay. Wow. Lazy. Just well, outlaw shell shocked. From the brink of death, comes back, and it is game five. Either of these two players could go to the next loser semis. part of the tournament, which is loser semis, depending on the result of this game right here. Again? Another air grab. This is the secret. You just wait for them to do something and grab. It's so simple. Why didn't I think of it? Oh, cross, up, cross up, maybe. Who knows? Uh, Lazy was blocking high. He just didn't block the right way. Oh, same side. Doesn't even need the meter. Wow. He's still working on the green bar. Outlaw has brought this all the way back. He's uh -oh. looking incredible. And here comes Eliza. She can, run a, she can run a train. She can yeah. get in that position where Eliza has trouble. Just goes right for a bypass. He doesn't care. And then resets low immediately. That was an incredible read on the bypass. Oh, Ooh, this is the short dash forward. But uh, that poison is still just taken away. It doesn't go away unless you super her. The oh. burst bait. This could do a lot of damage. He's got level three. Hit. Medium counter hit. Not going to get burst bait again, oh. but the overhead. This Lazy has to keep the resets going. He needs more. Solos have a lot of help. Great air tech. Literally next hit wins. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! I lost Spike. That super loses invincibility a lot sooner than you think it does. The scalpels having startup made that work. Because Scalpel starting slower than the reversal meant that he already started rising up and lost invincibility. That was such a smart decision. That what a, what a way to bait the level three. That was absolutely, that was jaw dropping. The Outlaw Spike, with only a single character, has made it to our top four. Incredible play. Oh man. And now we have to go into another, like, this, I can't imagine this will be any less of a slobber knocker. As an old man, I can use that <laughs> word. We're, we're allowed to do that, as yeah. old men. 
No one can stop us. <laughs> so, the times I've seen these two play, it always, it, it feels like it should be hard for Parasol, but it all, it, like, Liam makes this feel bad for Peacock, even though it's not. Yeah, I'm, like we were talking about earlier, this is really bad for Parasol, unless she gets a hit. Yeah. The second she, and at round start, her dash is just so good that she can get in there. Like, I know a lot of Peacock players that will just round start reversal just to try and stop that dash in. Yeah. Uh, of course, you're screwed if they just stand still and call assist. Yeah, then you're in some real trouble. So, so the round it, start yeah. is going to be really important right here. Yeah. What happens when the clock is at 99 seconds may dictate the rest of the match. And it's going to be absolute mind games. It all depends on your skill. Let's see what happens here. Bang? Yes, Ooh, I oh, called it. Really? So you can just shoot a projectile and it wins straight up. Yeah. You get uh, anything off yeah, it. You're just TJ's playing his game, got the cross up. He's off to the races. I think he's just going to go for the kill. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this team does a lot of damage. Even if this doesn't kill, an elephant's going to fall on you or something. Yep. Do the rest of it. Okay. Nice. Okay. Most importantly, now Robo is in not on the end's terms. Right. When it. When Robo doesn't have the advantage in the zoning, he can teleport. Oh, no, no. he had already thrown bombs. Oh, I thought he was committed to stand hard punch. No. So if you're committed to a special move, Car beats that pretty much on reaction. They probably looked during the super flash, saw yeah. what was happening. He was either going to puddle or Car. Oh, gets the hard punch. I don't know. Ooh, nice. Waits for him to cross over and goes for the jab. Oh, we're going for the super optimal. This is very, very... Oh! I, I guess he realized he needed more. Tried to yeah. Okay. Watch yeah. out for that bomb. That's going to explode on you. Yeah, just block it. Whoa. Oh, that's not good. Tech yeah. chase here. Good bait. Wow, that was a really smart decision. Yeah, and now he's got the hard punch counter hit. Ooh, push block guard cancel into jump jab. Uh, jump that jab is the Bella special. He's such a low to the ground air grab. Drops combo there. Gonna do right. safety yeah, yeah, here. Safe. I don't think Liam can punish this gun. Ooh! That instant air light kick. That works. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Just, Just time that tag. perfectly so the bomb would explode exactly when he wanted. Punishing the raw tag. Oh, oh no! But a little late on the item drop. Not punished, fortunately. Oh, Peacock's Ooh. stubby buttons didn't reach. That was gonna kill. Instead, Peacock's out of here, but still not a terrible position for TJ. His Bella is very healthy. Yeah, like, he's still... And it's basically even, really. Yep. Because this is still rough for Bella. She has options, though. She's got the deflector. Oh, did he hit confirm that? Oh, that was such a good hit confirm. Oh. Sees that the assist is hitting, and goes for the magnet to pull him in for a full combo. I think he's going for these extra resets so that TJ doesn't get the level three, because that's how he oh, can lose really hard yeah, that, right now. That might be a good idea. You need to be careful with these beams. Yeah, he, I, I don't know what she can do about this. Just get in, I suppose. Yeah, all he can really do. Oh. He was fishing so hard for that air grab. Yeah. Liam, with the discipline to stay on the ground. That was so smart. A very patient play. One more yeah, I think TJ's only option at the end there would have been push blocking the super and deflecting, but that's hard and bad if you lose. And once again, Liam wins the round start. Liam has been very good at the start around so far. This time he gets a full combo for his uh, trouble. I don't know if they see, but he's keeping the resets going. They don't stop. Every single one of them is hit. First base are. Oh. Okay, Lenny, Lenny saved, saved the day. day. I, might, I might have honestly used um, Lenny there just to cover Bella's tag. Yeah. TJ, confident using his peacock. In. I can't believe Is that going to punish? Oh my no, god. No, it oh, did not. Lenny saved the day again. Because <laughs> the tear shot, did, the explosion did hit. Lenny is your big exploding threat. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Bella's still there! Bella is still there! He needs to figure out how to get into his double snap. He's in it! He's in, He's it. in it! Now he just has to keep it going. Nicely. Oh my goodness, that was such a good... Like, the knowledge to just pause and do your regular combo until you can get into the double snap. Yeah. That, that was really good. I thought it was going to be one of those weird confirms where he has no way to get into launcher into the rest of it. But he found a way to do it. 
That was the first time that TJ won the round start. Yep. Well, he's in the yeah. corner. Never mind, he's out. He teleports. Yeah. Convert. This is not. Yeah, that from, was a little too far. Yeah, from a max range jab, Parasol normally doesn't get anything. Is he just going to go optimal? Yep. Oh, no. No, keeping it simple. Get rid of this character. Oh, I wasn't even looking at the helm. And teleports so that she moves even further to the corner. Yeah, this is where he wants to be. Like, Robo oh. does have really good mobility, though, so it can be a little hard to keep her out if she wants in. And then he's back. Wow. TJ's keeping these combos pretty simple. Yeah. But they are effective. Oh, never mind. Oh. That was fancy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, no! Oh, no. Yeah, you can't beam into super. Okay. So, fortunately, Liam had the bar to keep that safe. Going yeah. into the cadets. Now, it's, it's still his game. Push block guard cancel. He didn't, he didn't flash green, but that was a guard cancel. Yeah. Getting the reversal. Looks like he's finally going to get rid of the Oh, what's the meter, though. Yeah, he is out of meter. Bella has a lot of life left to make this. Uh, I, I guess it's not even a comeback. He has the life left, doesn't he? Uh, I can't tell. Yeah, the, the names are blocking it, unfortunately. Uh, Good yeah. punish. All right, get the extra meter. Yeah. That builds so much meter. Yeah, you always want to end in that if, if at all possible. Wow, Great jab. jab. I, I feel like Liam's doing that when Because TJ likes to do a predictive jump air grab. Yeah. And it looks like that's Liam's solution to that. Yeah, just stand jab it. I Yep, but then he just go for the throw reset. Oh! Uh, yeah, it looks like he needs one more. Yeah. And he's gonna get it. Yeah, yeah now just he has enough. Yeah, he's in the car. Wow. The end Rio from, uh, from Leo. Nicely awesome. done. That was very impressive at the end. I Moving thought on. TJ had it at, in that round. Alright, winner's finals. East Coast versus West Coast. Yeah, this is a coast-to-coast -coast battle. Here, meeting in the middle, I suppose, here, yeah. in, uh, here in Chicago. Yeah, almost smack dab in the middle. And we got Wing Zero versus Echo Fox's Sonic Fox. Yeah, Philly and friends versus Philly with no friends. No, Wing was probably going to play his Parasol team. Uh, see, the thing is, I haven't seen Wing play anything but solo Philly the whole tournament. Really? Yeah, and I, he was saying earlier when I was talking to him that he's, his plan was to go solo Philly the whole way. Interesting. Yeah. And I mean, it brought him this far. I don't see any reason to change it now. Yeah. Um, he's winner's finals. Yep. I mean, he made <laughs> it to winner's finals with the strategy. Why mess with it? I still cannot get over how in our top four we have two trios and two solos. Yep. <laughs> Just like between, between all of them, if you divide it all, everyone's playing duo. And given, like, that used to be the meta. Everyone used to run duo. Yeah, for a long time. All right, here we go. This is winner's finals. Oh, Sonic one v one. Stage. Oh. All right, so Sonic is known to do this. He does not like to play solos with a trio because of the damage advantage. So he will one v one. So we have even more solo action for you. So the rounds are back. You see him up there by the life bars. The game automatically becomes rounds when it's two solos. Nice block. Oh, that was really good. Oh, but that jump hard kick just has such a huge hurt hitbox. Oh, nice. Fakes the cross up and just goes command grab in the corner. You can kill off this. Yeah. Yep, looks like it. Mess it up. So do we have the sisters fighting. Yep. Philly and Fuqua. Philly versus Evil Philly. Actually, that's a beautiful but... <laughs> It depends on who you're getting mixed up <laughs> by. You don't know which way she's going with that. The new shadow setups are so good. You didn't used to be able to hold those as long as you wanted, but now you can. Just you leave the button held down. Oh, wow. Just straight stand H. Alright. The wing, finally in there. Oh, I think he did that crouch light kick a little too early. He was supposed to reset low. Uh, he got an extra hit in, so he gets the life bar. Yeah, no complaint, no harm, no foul. Uh, both have four meters, so... Oh, but yeah. So Sonic. this is probably, yeah, right into yeah, level, three three level three for the best bang combo. for his buck. Yep, nice and clean. Cancels into super at the exact moment when he knows it's going to work. And no thought, straight back in. Sonic leaving the hat on, as you know, the, the hat is the uh, is the hat weighs around 200 pounds. Yeah, that's his limiter. Yeah. Like as soon as he takes it off, you know it's super serious. But right now, it looks like he's content leaving it off. Training weights. Ooh, ooh. 
didn't get this. Nice. What a good jab. Good use of the jab. And that is how you deal with a lot of Philia's air dash. Oh, okay. So that's the danger of that reset, is if you do block it, it's a land cancel and a punish for the other player. And that is how Wing got started here. Same, oh, same side, side, faking the cross up. A lot of respectful resets from these guys. These are the sort of resets that only work on someone who's good. Yeah. A bad player will never get hit by this. Best what is going to happen? Okay. Yeah, he hit the shadow so he can kill the shadow. Yeah, he killed the shadow with it, but the real Fuku is still there. You won't hit the shadow. Nice. All right. That's more use of that um, jump to uh, light punch. Stand light punch. The light button's doing it. Good. That hard punch burst bait is so hard to see. Oh, man. Ooh! Did he really hit him from that? He blocks. I, I think what Sonic was trying to do there, instead of going for Fireball Super, he tried to bait the push block guard cancel. But Wing, just sitting there, drops oh, his combo at the end. You do not want to give Sonic this kind of opportunity. He's about to mix. Uh, he's got the corner. He's got all the mixes. I mean, fortunately, because of rounds, we are going to get at least one chance to go back to neutral. Wing does wow, not just go count. low. Getting hit low right at the start. Will he get another chance to play? It's not looking great. The optimal stuff right into level three. Uh, Sonic can't kill, but... Oh, oh my goodness. Jumping hard kick to God. That was tragic. Sonic running that all the way back. He looked dead to rights. I have seen Wing Zero hit that combo a million times. Mostly on me. <laughs> I mean, it's different on stage. All your combos become much more difficult. That is true. Alright, so that's two wins for Sonic. Wing Zero sticking with the solo. He is committed to this. He believes. Hi, uh, this is Wing Philia. You can tell because he's the only Philia player that uses base color. Yeah, that's true. He's always used this color for Philia. Alright, with the hairball, we're in. Wow, and your jab. Okay, this time he gets the confirm. Alright, just clean it now. Air throw. Doesn't have to spend the meter on that one. I'm not sure what that was. Maybe trying to be push like dark cancel. Maybe. Oh god, that mix up is so hard to see. One way or the other, Sonic is in there, and these these resets are completely brutal. I can't believe you blocked that. That's crazy. Super? Yep. I think he's Ooh. yeah, he's got he's got a pixel left. Ooh! Okay. Just going for that last bit of damage and it's gonna cost him. Oh, oh he knew! Oh. oh no conversion! But he's still in! He's getting mix-ups! He's getting resets! He's still there! Oh, the jump uh, That's fine. All that damage was just free life. Yep, I agree. Ooh, Ooh. punishes the shadow! Austin air dash is at the correct time with the air throw. He can kill with this! I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, Gregor and Defenrir, right? Yeah. That would do it. Nicely done! Wing All right, on, the board. Wing on the board! And we, we saw this earlier from yeah. Outlaw Spike. Started off down two to nothing. Uh, this is still fully doable. Completely doable. Sonic was looking very serious there. Wow, did he just sweep at round start? I mean, that sweep is disjointed. It's a good button. You don't get anything off it, but the button itself is very strong. Yeah. It's the throw. Good Ooh, block on Sonic's bar. Oh, Ooh. wow. The, the predictive crouching medium kick. He just knew Sonic was going to dash in on him. Yeah, great read. Okay, this is going to go one of four rays. Yeah. That one this time. That counter hit might have been an attempted Gregor. All of these cross ups. Very, very hard to block. Ooh, again with a pixel. Yeah, we saw this. Oh! <laughs> Sonic was ready this time. He was expecting yeah. DP. Oh, not close enough to convert. Oh, I think the throw is going to do it. As long yep. as he doesn't drop his combo, he's fine. Uh, it's even. One life bar. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm, wow. Hard awesome. kick trading. Yeah. I, I never have any idea which way that's hitting. No, yeah. You just pick a direction and go for the best. <laughs> right. Good block. Oh, oh I think that's going to do it. Yep. yep. Sonic keeps it simple. Nicely done. All right. So Sonic Fox is going to be waiting and in Grand Finals. Yep, he has become the final boss. Now Wing has to wait for the winner of Outlaw Spike and Liam. 
So we could get the solo run back. Wait a minute, isn't this, this is a run back. This, this is who put um, Liam into losers oh, in the first right. place. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah. They both in my pool. You know, I, <laughs> the thing is, like, these these players, we've talked about it a lot, are both so um, so deliberate and so calculated. I started watching the set and then had to go to play my own tournament match, came back, and they were still going. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. Their, their match went to game five, and all, all five of those games took a long time. I'm pretty sure every single match Outlaw ever plays goes to game five. Because he just he thinks. All right. So we have one of our great sponsors, Paradise Arcade Shop. I know they're here. If you use their promo code, Combo2017, you get 10% off. And I'll tell you, I fixed my stick with all their parts. They also sponsored the ST tournament, Super Turbo. They provided the cabinet that is, it's played on. Yeah. So if you happen to catch that tomorrow morning, you'll know where we got it. I went to those guys earlier this weekend. They do great work. Yeah. Oh, man. I can't wait for this. Super Turbo <laughs> Top 8. Oh, man. I was casting the pools earlier for it. There's some... Um, there's some killers. Oh, what's uh, something? Something's wrong on the stage. I'm talking to Kazmer, so we're gonna yeah. get sorted out. I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah. I'm talking to the crowd. Uh, I guess he's having trouble with his oh. hitbox. Oh, okay. So he's gonna borrow Lazy's hitbox. Okay. So something else I was talking about um, earlier was there's a very even range of controllers used in this top eight. There That's are true. Three stick players, three pad players, and two hitbox players. So, if you're yeah. wondering if you can if you can play Skullgirls on your device of choice, they're all pretty equally viable, it seems. On heck, there was a guy playing last year on a shoebox. Yeah, I remember. No, actually, he's he's here. Oh, I didn't see yeah, him yeah. here. Yeah, psychopath. Great yeah. Guy. He's the only person who gets more steamrollers than I do. <laughs> Which is you, you shocking. You wouldn't think it's possible, but yeah. he does. You watch him play. He's just like, how are you still getting these? You're the only person I know who can get a steamroller off of level one item drop. So. <laughs> No, well, he gets it off level zero. He hasn't even like input the special move yet. All right. Oh my. We got the controller set up. Okay. The the controller situation looks good at this point. Okay. Check those buttons. And we've got Poseidon cheering in the background for our solo hero. <laughs> also from the same region as Poseidon. So there's true. a lot of bias there. Yeah. Wow. If you're ever wondering if Solo is viable in this game, here is Solo in top three of this tournament. It's the biggest Skullgirls tournament of the year. We're going right into it. Starting Robo, but still playing Trio. Interesting choice. Um, I know a lot of Parasol players hate the Valentine matchup, but weirdly a lot of Valentine players hate the Parasol matchup. Yeah, I can see that. It's kind of like neither, neither character really gets to do what they want to. No. So I think he just says, you know what? I can block in the round start. He's a lot of good movements from Liam right now. He's not getting cornered. Yeah. So he's saying just keeping doing little bits of chip damage. I'm like, that's all he really needs to do. Ooh, push blocks him into the mine. Doesn't get anything off him, but that was cool. Ooh, yeah. Uh, this, out of bypass. this is where it's really hard for Valentine, is that you can tiger knee the beans and it'll beat bypass. Oh, grabs him. Got some throw though. Oh, oh, again, he goes for the low. Yeah. Like, he does a lot of uh, low tick throw or just throw into throw. Great use of the bypass. The mine is out. Got to watch out. Safe. Yep. Yeah, the assist. Oh, <laughs> just <laughs> falls onto the mine. You got to be careful. Wow, they Run both up just dash jab. forward. So all this patient stuff and then dash full screen jab and he gets a conversion off it. That was the right time to do it. Incredible oh, stuff. Oh, the sweet hit. Oh, Oops. too far for the medium punch. And just hit, hit, hit the assist, get that Ooh, damage in. Nice air to air. He can kill here. Definitely. Yeah, so that's one character down. Oh, and he yeah. even gets to kill with scalpel, so he keeps the corner. That's very important. What? Was that the setup, or did he do that because of the hard punch whip? I think he just did it because of the hard punch whip. Well, in any case, it was amazing. It was oh. I, oh, the burst bait! You are super dead, my guy, for zero meters, saving all of it for this next character. Oh, Oops. he mistimed it. Oh, that's a bummer. Too high up, though, for that punch? Bird. No, no. I, I don't think he wanted medium punch. I think he hit the light punch while he was still in box stand. Yeah. Nice uh -oh. anti-air. That gunshot. Just level five. 
Yeah, it looks like we're going into it. Is it going to be enough damage? The damage on this got nerfed significantly. Oh. Well, it's not going to kill if it, if it gets blocked or drops. Gets uh, dropped and is then blocked. Oh. And a great... This, this is the thing. Aura, he plays so patient and then when then when he decides to do an unsafe thing, he's always right. The reads on this man are incredible. It's why he's in this position. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can't believe he dodged that. Oh, oh what a throw. Crap. Okay. Oh, that throw is so clutch. First game is going to go to Liam. So something important about Liam I forgot to mention up until right now is that he is one of the few players in this game who will tech throws on reaction. But what he's yeah. reacting to is not the throw animation itself. It's the fact that you ran up to him. So he'll see that and then block low for a second, stand up, tech, and then block low again. And that, that lets him block low and tech throws in a game where you're not supposed to do that. The way you can beat that as Valentine is you can use her instant air dash hard punch. Yep. And um, that will catch the catch him hitting a button. Basically. So, you gotta treat it like Street Fighter 4 essentially. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially because Valentine is such a fast air dash. Yeah. Well, at least on startup. Wait a minute. Is it? No. No, he, he won. Oh, okay. Alright, thank you. Actually, I didn't hear what you said. I have said both times. You're allowed to change team order, just not team assist. <laughs> you, like, you can use the... Uh, the it between match commands. Oh, apparently there was another button issue. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Hopefully, hopefully now the buttons are correct. Yeah. Like I think Liam said that his uh, assist buttons were wrong. Okay. Now, now I think we should be in good shape. Ooh, nice conversion off the beam. Liam's turn. Great block. Ooh, we're back to neutral. Okay, reads right. the up back. Yeah. He's gonna get the bypass here. Get the corner. corner. Nice. nice. Oh, that is so tricky. Ooh, gets to save the bar in the first bait. Perfect yeah. time to do Outlaw that. Outlaw has been 100% on that combo all weekend. Yeah. He's been so consistent with all of his combos, first baits. It's a grab here. So grab is a good option here because it does oh. beat Robo's only reversal option. Outlaw missed the jab somehow and got thrown out of it. His turn to block. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, he just wanted to get full yeah. screen. Liam's fine with that. This is where he wants to be. Now, Outlaw does have the life lead. Whoa. Ran up a full screen and predicted an aircraft. Oh, the mine! Was, oh, not the mine. The uh, the head drone that was yeah. already out. Oh, what good reaction! Yep, no hit stop on that super. You are allowed to react to it. That was a good thing to react to. It. Nice. Steal the help. Uh, he had a lot of so, red health built up. Yeah, so solos can snap to build to get their red health back, but you can also snap a solo to take the red health away. And now it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think that was a really good decision. Great use of the cannon. Uh, if I remember right, this is what happened in pools. Liam went up 2-0, and then Outlaw came back again. Yeah. I, I can believe it. I mean, we saw Outlaw do it already. Yeah. Having a great weekend. Let's do this in one take. We'll see if Outlaw can run it back once again. Okay, so this time Robo is on point. Uh, I think that was supposed to be jumped out, but it ended up turning into a beam in blue. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. That wouldn't oh, make any sense. good land cancel. I don't know. Never mind. Okay. That's a neutral game. I'm not play wow. I feel like he's playing a little more aggressive than we're used to. Yeah. Like, I think he just... He feels like once he can kill Robo, he's in such a better shape. Because, well... Yeah, if Robo dies quickly, he gets to play his game. Yeah. Right now, this is not really his game. Ooh, the run-up dash again. Run-up the... Uh, standing like punch. Uh, that was a good bypass just to Ooh, dodge nice air-to-air! -air. He's got both! They're going to bring him way. all the way to the corner. He already used his OTG. Nice. Yeah. Clean stuff. That is, that's an interesting double snap. I have not seen that. Yeah, I haven't one. either. It doesn't look like that one goes forever. He got enough reps of it, though. And this is the advantage solo. You're losing yep. up until you're not, and then you're winning really hard. 
You know the great joke? If that was regular portions, we wouldn't have been able to get the corner carry. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, because of the weight free tag. Oh, yep, free tag. The monster is gone now. Don't have to worry about that. Ooh, Ooh a big assist damage. Yeah. So now you really have to think about your double calls. And I don't know if you... Like, you can't really Ooh. CHC. Oh. oh man, it was a great block on that cross up, but then it gets hit again immediately. Yep. Is that going to hit double? And if so, for how? She yeah. is dead! She's gone! But it was worth it. Using double as a human shield, spending all the bar into this combo. Let's not go too far. She's not a human shield. <laughs> she's, she's like a blob shield or something. Oh. Keeping the resets going. Oh no! Oh. He got trip guarded. Oh, that's not gonna, it's not gonna be enough. One more chance. The life totals are much more even than they look if just by looking at the screen. Gets the air grab, misses the scalpel input, and the punish on the scalpels. No, oh, that's tragic. He had it. That was his game. Like he actually could have just killed by scalpels, scalpels. He had two meters. All right. That, that is that's tragic. a hard one, but. All right, we've got losers finals. Losers Wing finals. zero versus Liam. Yeah. Once again, solo versus trio. Again, a solo that plays very well against Parasol and Robo Fortune. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, this this character, I know is annoying for Parasol, and I know is annoying for Robo because she has such good mobility to get in through all of the projectiles, and then once you're in, especially for Parasol, she's such a big target. Yeah, she's big, and she's got a dead zone on her flash kick. Yeah. So, and Philia just, her mix-ups naturally put her in that dead zone. Like, you don't even yeah, need to try. Yeah, you're not even trying to option select it. It just, like, happens to beat her, yeah. her, um, her pillar. So, I think oh. solo, this, solo Philia can definitely do well here. That said, Parasol does have really fast normals, so she can win the neutral game. So we'll see. Like, I'm expecting Liam to go with Point Parasol again and just rely on good neutral because he's got good neutral. Oh, he's um, incredible neutral. I mean, both these guys do, to be honest. Yeah. Looks like Liam is figuring out his hitbox again. Yeah. Again, still borrowing Lazy's hitbox, I believe. Yeah. yeah I okay. I see something going on. I definitely see something. The screen is on. But it's on like the PlayStation home menu. I don't think this is where we want to be. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right, so we're yeah, gonna... it looks like it needs to reboot it. For some reason, the stick uh, did not rec. Oh, hitbox did not recognize upon being plugged back in, and that's a bummer. I, yeah. I know sometimes with some of these sticks. Um, you have to register them and take them. Like yeah. I, I know someone was playing on. I wish I could remember. Oh right, it was Sanji. Sanji was playing on Hitbox earlier in this tournament, and had to disconnect and reconnect his Hitbox between every single game. Yeah, so it could be something to that effect. Oh, we've got a quick word for our sponsors again. Controller Chaos present here. Ten percent off if you use the promo code Combo Seventeen. I know a lot of people who are very happy with their controllers from these guys, and they look gorgeous. Oh, they're beautiful. Like, yeah, I love their display designs. over there. Um, yeah, I'm, looks like we've got the system is booting up, so we will be able to get in quickly enough. Okay. But in the meantime, uh, there's the sorts of revealing lights slowly <laughs> raising again. <laughs> Facing the correct direction this time. Nice to yeah. meet you guys. Nicely done, whoever is revealing the swords. Oh, I, I also see the power of 10. That's a, that's a number. That is uh, true. That is a number. Shout outs to Inside Jokes. AKA our auction Two. tournament. Ten, 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 ten. Okay, get the 10 chant guy going, guys. Join, it, join in with this. Do the thing everyone else is doing. There you go. Now, now this is proper Skullgirls. There we go. Yeah, can we get a six chant going though? You love that yeah. number too. Six, 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 there you go. This is why I love being a part of this community. So what I really like about the six chant is that it's asymmetrical. And I was taking a close look at uh, at what people were using for the one and also on which hand. And I'm going to add it to a spreadsheet later and analyze that data. I think we'll get some really interesting numbers. I'll leave like that six. to you. <laughs> yeah, this is the sort of thing I do for fun. 
Oh. This oh, is man. why you do all speed running now, because it's, it's all number <laughs> crunching. Yeah, pretty much. And we got Beowulf in the background there. That's a character that's not in top eight. Although we, we had yeah. um, two Beowulf players get ninth place, so very close. Yeah. Um, everything in top 24. Yeah, everybody was represented in top 24. Yeah, every, every character was in top 24. I want to say top 16 as well. I'm trying to think here. Uh, There's a pain wheel in, in top 16, wasn't yeah. there? Yeah. Uh, who was it? It was... Yeah, D Dango made yeah, it. Dango. Part, right? Yeah, Dango. Yeah, Dango. Yeah, so there was a pain wheel. Yeah. And top eight, we had everybody, but what? Pain wheel, band, Bayo? Yeah, band is not in this. Uh, pain wheel's not here, and Beowulf's not here. I believe all other, all the other characters are bands. All right, looks like the game is back on. And it looks like everything is recognized, so we get to play again. All right. So I assume the one setting the assist macros. No, they're both setting assist macros. That's interesting. I think it's just habit at this point. Yeah, probably. You get used to it. It's just muscle yeah. memory. It's still but yeah, solo. He, he is going to continue to play solo Philia, which I, I am a fan of this decision. Yeah, uh, and it's ride the horse that you count here with. Right. I just realized I don't think I've ever seen these guys play. Everybody I don't know, which is weird because they're both West Coast. Uh, yeah, one is... Oh, I think we're oh. checking the macros. Okay, now yeah. we're really going into One it. More time. Just making sure that pushing that button makes Robo Fortune pop out and shoot a beam. And now that we've done that, she's on point. <laughs> uh, it makes sense. Yeah, now it's that we so know how hard. to call Robos and assist, we're just going to put her on point and yeah. not use her assist. Uh, that's how that's you do it. It does seem like Liam likes this order for solos. I, I guess because... I think it's more for the characters than oh, the maybe. solos. Oh, yeah. maybe. Pretty good so far. Oh, the missiles. Yep, just block. Okay, push block. block. Yeah, as long as you push block, you can absolute guard and then you don't have to worry about any high-low mix-ups. So that, having to block those missiles is not as scary as it looks. What is scary, getting magneted all the way over the Robo. And now you're doing Oh, good block. Man, almost everybody has gotten sure. Wow, that, <laughs> I didn't actually know that works. No, I didn't either. So you can drill mines. Good to know. I, I think actually any projectile, now that I'm thinking about it, as long as it is low enough to the ground. Ooh, a lot of damage on double right there. Yeah, every errant double call Wing has been punishing. Oh, this is a frame trap. He wasn't blocking it. So yeah. that is instant after after the flash. So if you are not already blocking, you're getting hit by it. Oh. Um, I don't know about this. And yeah. no way to make it safe. No second bar to spend. I'm thinking Liam thought he had the extra meter. Yeah, get that health back. Although I would have snapped yeah, double. Yeah, I, I there. agree. I would have snapped him double. Get rid of that red hole. In any case, the character he snapped is doing some work. No, no oh, resets. No. I have Dragon. Oh, I think he missed was, the burst bait. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So this is what we're talking about, where he's able to get above Parasol, and she has a really hard time dealing with that. Oh, nice. <laughs> Keep it simple. Yeah. I, I like that he converts with the forward light punch. I mean, and it does slightly more damage than normal jabs. So it actually, yeah. Like even if you do two jabs, oh, it probably scales better. Even yeah. Than, yeah. Wow. Okay. Good to know. And it's only like a hundred damage difference, but hey, I mean, hey, why not? Take it. You know, it's free. Yeah. Exactly. We're in Eliza's home base. Eliza and the Unless uh, Sonic Fox <laughs> decides to break her out. Yeah, he does have an Eliza. Ooh, okay, he's the, the head drone to cover himself as he goes in. I kind of like that. You want to play aggressive every now and again in order to establish space, otherwise you're just yeah. getting a corner. And you do not want to be in the corner against Wayne. Uh -oh. He's got both! Again, same oh, way. Oh, no. easy. Wow, I, I don't understand. I don't understand calling Parasol at that point because Philia was above him and it's a horizontal assist. Yeah. Ooh, gets the. Uh, I think I that was think that cross up? Whatever he got, he yeah, got he it. He got something. I guess. Nice. Good overhead. I think he can kill. Yeah, oh, well, with the solo then? He absolutely can. Oh, yeah. This is the power of solo. He's even going to kill with Gregor, so he gets a more favorable position here. Oh, he missed time. Yeah. That's too I guess it's still. Really, really good for him. Oh, he did oh, have he got for it. Gregor. He, I yeah, just he barely. Oh, oh, jabbing, uh -oh. and then immediately into level three. The hit confirms. Nice block there. So she is going to explode. Yeah, she is in detonation mode. It's coming. 
there it is. This is part of why Liam has to play with headphones, because the only clue that you have for the explosion is auditory. Oh yeah, you're right. I mean, she does blink faster, but that's really hard to see. Yeah. Okay. So pretty su substantial life lead for Philly right here. But Liam's sticking to his game plan. He's content to play this lane. There's plenty of cost to work with. No reason to panic. Oh. Now there's kind of a reason yeah, to panic. Now, now you can panic. This is actually what panicking is for. In this situation right here. I think we need one more reset if I'm not mistaken. I no, I, I don't. I am yeah. definitely mistaken. You're dead. Fenrir just does oh, so wow. much damage. And once again, with the ratios. Yeah. Fenrir is doing even more damage. And even with the new undizzy scaling changes, that hits like a truck. One to one. I like that Wing isn't rushing in at round start anymore. It's the first two times he did that, he lost. Yeah. He's, he's playing it a little more patient. A little fortunate. Oh, the side switch. So tricky. Just get it out. Uh, can he punish? No. Yeah. He, he recovers really quickly on that. I, I thought maybe Robo could punish it because her dash speed is so fast, but I guess even that correct speed is good. Yeah. I know. She's cornered. But oh. the head drone and the, uh, the helicopter out. He's able to get his offense started. Ooh, he's gonna finish it? Interesting. I uh, assume he is. Yeah. Uh, and I guess the mixes that you get off of, you know, doing this sort of stuff. Oh, block oh. reverse, so it's not a real first pick. Yeah. It crossed up. Oh, wait, it, it was a counter hit. Yeah, yeah, I think it also crossed up, but it definitely countered it. They cross up that time. Ooh, oh. trying to throw tech and gets it overhead. And again, solo, you're losing until you're winning really hard. Yeah. A lot of damage there. Oh, whoa. That was dirty. Yeah. That was. He knew Wink was gonna show him respect, so he just threw. That would have lost to any button. Oh my oh. goodness! Did he get? He got both. He They're got both there. They're both heavy. They're not as heavy though. I don't know if he should bring this all the way to the corner. It doesn't no. look like it. But he's gonna snap anyways. Which yeah. I get like. the health back. And take get rid that, of the red health. Yeah, take that red health from Robo. You gotta watch out for Drill because he can hit him from that really easily from, into a close. Oh, good combo. anti air. I like right using there. Drill. Oh, there it is again! God. God, Wing has been so on point with those drills. And he always gets to confirm in the character stance after. Get a little corner carry at the end yep. of the combo. Uh-oh. Good use of that jump light punch again. <laughs> oh. Sick throw. Yeah. Just jab throw. It's, it's what you use in literally every fighting game since the beginning of fighting games. It is always good in like every game. It's amazing. All right, and uh, Wing, up Wing. two to one. Wing working to get his run back on Sonic. It looks like Liam is adjusting the watch. It seems like that might have been the trouble. All right, now we're good. It's either that or he was just trying to unleash his seals. Oh, right. So Liam does have a seal that in, in dangerous situations he can break in order to become the most powerful fighting game player known to man. Ooh, However, yeah. it comes with dangerous repercussions. Ooh, wow. He's in there now. Counterhead. Man, Wing has been so on point with punching air into assist goals. Oh no. Okay, keep yeah, it safe, safe. using the assist. But he had, he still had to block. Because he knew Wing wow. was ready with the push block guard cancel. The savage oh, was, no. oh no! Do not okay. mix me up. I do not want to block. I got this reversal. Ooh, oh, same, same side. side again. Yeah. Great stuff. Wing is looking great right now. This is the best I've ever seen him play. It looks like the, the team switch to solo Philia is really what he needed. Well, uh, Liam is making the run back now. But Liam, with side switches, it's either left or right. You can narrow it down that far. Aside from that, who knows? I don't know about spending the meter, but... Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, he's not going to see it. I, I yeah. guess he's content to play this week a little bit of damage on double. It's not that big of a deal. Now, I'm kind of surprised he hasn't been adding his combos and dust just to get heads. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, he hasn't been doing that all top eight. Oh, but oh, the head drone was already far. out. It comes out even if you get hit. Yeah. But Liam yeah, now all out of the heads. Drones. He has no heads left. You get one right here. Now it decides to shoot Uh oh. Oh, my goodness. That was so far. That must have been max range. I didn't even see it hit Robo. She's went in there. It's done, I think. I think she just leaned a little bit forward when she fired the beam. 
those two I, layer mix ups, Wing Zero is known for those. Uh, there's no one dizzy left, so he can't. He has to keep mixing. Okay. Or the worst oh! paint! Young and the Winnie! Train. His spirit lives on! If you look closely, he was on the train that just went by. Gregor and Defender, Gregor and Defender. I think, Defender. might be enough to kill. It's gonna be real close. Oh, no oh. burst. No burst there. One last chance for Liam. He has a pixel. He has a pixel, but he has level five. Oh! oh. He had to go for it. Yeah, that was the Hail Mary, get to level five and try and kill him, but... Yeah. Could've worked. Oh, yeah. man. Wow. Wing Zero, playing solo the entire way. And now he's getting his run back, and we're probably gonna get a solo final. The only thing powerful enough to beat a solo is another solo, and also Swords of Revealing Light. Sonic showing that card off right there. That doesn't work, though. That's how you beat a trio. So oh, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah you're right, because there's three swords. I hadn't yeah. thought about that. You only need one no. sword to beat Solo. <laughs> yeah, is there, is, there, is there a version of that card with only one sword? I sword don't know. of Revealing Light. Yeah, I'm way too old to know this stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about these Pokemon card games people are playing. All these youngins. Yeah. Uh, it's a young man's world. Yeah, we're just living it. All right. So I think we are getting... Yep, we're getting I, I wonder if we're going to again. the lore stage again. That's what I'm really wondering. Oh, yeah, Brent, it looks give me, like give me the it. Lore. Oh no, we're going okay, for. Okay, this is also lore. Yeah, we're going for the final atrium. The, the actual final, final boss. boss stage. Sonic is the final boss of this tournament. Skullgirls Grand Finals. This is it. It's what you're watching. Here we go. Oh, all right. A lot of neutral. They respected each other a lot at the start. Predictive anti-air whips, but Sonic still in. Going yep. crazy. I don't think that was supposed to combo. Close enough? Yep, close enough to combo. That only combos in the corner. I don't know, but it, it counter hit something. I wonder if we thought he was getting crossed up and was going for greater sense. I don't know. Sonic looking strong as always. Yep. Man, Sonic counter is not again. sandbagging here. He doesn't like to play trio versus solos because he doesn't like taking all that extra damage. Yeah, he doesn't like just randomly yeah. losing because you got happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, no, it's not fun. It's like, I got happy birthday and lost two characters. Oops. And, and of course, Sonic used to 1v1. He's the NRS champ. Yeah. So he's very comfortable here. This will kill. That works? Yeah. I haven't seen Yeah, because he saved the OTG. Oh, I haven't seen that one before. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I've seen him do the air drill into the ground drill. Oh, yeah. That yeah, that's the usual way to do it, but he was already on the ground, so. That was really clever. Knowing exactly how to adjust his combo for the situation. Sonic Fox. I like how it, every single round, these guys, rounds start jump back from each other. <laughs> A lot of respect. Up until someone starts getting hit. Then all, all First bit? Yeah. Out. That was a fraudulent burst bait. Yeah. And again, it's that two-layer mix-up we always That crossed way. up? I don't know what just happened. I, I'm not sure either, but it ended Sonic getting the hit into his setup. Oh. Good luck. But the luck to get yep. the punish, yes. That can be very hard to punish when it's low to the ground like that. Sonic uh, you you have to stand block it. That's yeah. the only way to punish it. Alright. Oh. Is that gonna punish? Yes, yes. it is. We might be able to steal this round. I think so. Yeah, Sonic was sure that that was gonna hit and he could. Oh no, he's got him dizzy. So it's very low health for both players. Oh nice! Oh, wow, yeah. In there. Just air dash jab. Uh, one fireball super will do it or drill into it. Yeah. Yeah, there, yeah. Okay. So even like bars, one round. Good read. Good read on the air throw. Wow! Ooh. Reset into cross up, reset into cross up again. Nice. Okay. Oh. Oh no. I think he can kill. Yeah, he's got level three. Sonic was able to get out briefly with the double jump air grab. Very good defensive option. But it's hit on the way down into this combo. We're one and one. Level three. Wing zero on the board. One one. Even Mike Z Cat is hype. <laughs> Oh, the hard read. We, we've seen that before. When he predicts a run forward, he'll go for yeah. a dark medium kick and catch it. Not as active forever, so. It's active forever, it has a vacuum on it. It's great for that. I have no idea which side that hit on. Who knows? I, I uh -oh. feel like we are seeing more respectful mix-ups from Sonic. He's really trying not to get the reversers here. 
Not enough though. No. A little bit short. Uh oh. Oh no. He committed to that yeah. way early. He was all the way at the top of the screen, picking the Gregor Witch completely. Nice block. Uh oh. Okay. That's only punishable if you push block it at the exact right time. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the tricky stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna roll right back into it, I think. This is Sonic putting him in the mix again. Oh, no, this is this one's a burst bait setup. Wow. Chip okay. out, yeah. Chip out finish. That was Sonic guaranteed. needing just one more win. Wing is thinking. Yeah. Okay, oh, he's he committing the solo. In. I like it. Yep. The crowd is behind him. I think everybody's just tired of Sonic taking all of our money. <laughs> Maybe. Ooh, oh, he's great got the jab. Challenge, and it works out. Oh. oh, counter hit. This yeah. is gonna So the first block made that button whiff, and Sonic was able to whip punish with his hard kick. Oh, that was a hard read. Keeping his, keeping his own whip safe. Alright. Into his okay. so I imagine he's gonna go for another cross up to get the corner. Ooh, nice. Yeah, double yeah, jumps double jump out of the reset, though. comes down with hard kick. Again, that button is the god. Not enough, though. Oh, yeah, it's Oh, he still yeah. had the OTG. He still had it. Oh, Ooh, this time Sonic is the one jabbing. Can't go to for it. Wow. <laughs> so pushing buttons. That was Frame like trap. five staggered buttons in a row and they all hit. No. None of them comboed, but they all hit. <laughs> all right. One round of these. Wing can still do this. Yeah, this is basically even. Very close to even. Oh, oh wow. Hard that kick was traded. But Philly's hard kick knocks down. Who goes to stop? That oh, so that was cross up. Sorry to block. Going for it again. I have no idea which side that hit on. Sonic is already getting yeah, up. Yeah, that level three, we knew it was going to kill. Sonic. Sonic, once again, I think this is his third year in a row. I believe this is the third year in a row. The power of but swords is your 2017 combo breaker champion. He's excited to show off his red arms. The arms are red. Oh, boy. So. Going into today, would you have predicted that we would have had three solos in top four? <laughs> I, I did not see that one coming. Of all the things I could have predicted, I thought we were going to get the standard, you know, Sonic, uh, Sage, Sonic Sage, uh, Liam, TJ order that we've had, you know, past few tournaments. Yep. But, I mean, as always, you know, incredible stuff from Sonic. Yeah. Playing uh, versatility, multiple teams, solid play. Yeah, we now have our top eight getting their medals. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Rick is very excited to shout this out. Cloud okay. King, seventh place. Great stuff um, for him. It's a fundraising effort to get him out here, and he did yeah. a good job. Yeah, he had some trouble right at, like, leading up to this. But. Fuzzy. Fuzzy is six nuts. Yep. Lazy Diablo, some TJ, and. Yeah. So, I believe next up is Super Turbo Top 24. Okay. That's and I recommend sticking around to watch it because. Oh, it's Tekken it's after this. Okay. I misremembered. My bad. Either way, I recommend sticking around because the new Tekken is a lot of fun. In the meantime, we want to thank you all for watching because we are super excited every year to come out to Combo Breaker, and we're super glad that everybody here is so excited to come and to encourage Skullgirls to be here. Yeah, this, this is always a great tournament for Skullgirls. This is the one we all come out for, and we love it. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, I was McPeanuts. I am Alex P. Oh, you're still Alex P. I am still Alex P. Okay. I have managed to maintain that for my <laughs> whole life. Alrighty. Well, thank you very much for watching. All right.